Arsenal versus Watford this weekend, a week 11 matchup. How did both teams get on last time out? Last time out, Arsenal had a fantastic 2 0 win away from home against a very good Leicester side on paper. But I've always said Leicester is slightly overrated. But again, that's another video for another time. Going back to how Arsenal played, we could have been 3 4 0 up after half an hour. In the end, we didn't. We sort of sat back like Gartet does, a bit like Gareth Southgate. Uh, panics when they got lead. We could have won that easier. But if it weren't for a fantastic performance by a fantastic goalkeeper in Ramsdale, by the way, I never criticised that one, like a lot of people now are starting to bum him. I thought he was a good goalie, and he's proven me right, and he's proven everyone else wrong. Um, yeah, fantastic. What a world he saved that was. But anyway, played quite well. Uh, going to Watford, 1-0 um, defeat at home to Southampton. Uh, I've been told that they were quite poor in this game. They could have lost by more. Uh, you got to win games like this in this league, and that's definitely a game that he really looked at and wanted to win. They're inconsistent, Watford. They're going to continue to play better when they're up against it. So this is one of the games away from home against a very good side. Um, formation or changes. Uh, I believe both teams will probably stick to the same team. Watford will probably play the same team. Uh, he's played similar teams for the last couple of games he's played, so I don't see him changing it. Uh, maybe uh, the top front three will be Dennis Saar and King. I don't remember the team too much of what they put out against Watford, but I, I, I know it was very similar to the team before. So, yeah, it wasn't a bad defeat, so I can't see them changing it. To Arsenal, the only change for me would be Tierney for Tavares if he's fit. Again, Tavares is good, but he's more of a win-back for me, and I think um, it wouldn't really matter so much in this game because we're going to have most of the ball, but I think Tierney's one of the best left-backs in the world and in the league, of course. So, yeah, he plays for me. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll order guys for Lacazette. Um, I think Lacazette wasn't as good this game against Leicester, but I wouldn't be surprised if he kept the same team. Um, key battles, uh, for me, it's the middle of the park. Um, Sissoko first party, both strong, strong midfielders, no nonsense. Uh, they're both going to want the ball and trying to... And get it across and move the game quickly. Uh, I think party has been playing really good recently, apart from the mistake against Palace. And Sissoko, he's a quality player. You know, uh, he's been in his league long enough to to know how to get the job done. Um, yeah, that that bit about for me. If Arsenal can keep the ball in that position and and and, and get it away from Sissoko and get it out to the wing to Smith Rowe to to Aubameyang to um, Saka and even to Lukonga, then Arsenal got a chance of opening the game up and and finding the gaps. Um, how do I see the game going? I think it's going to be very obvious how this game's going to go. Arsenal are going to have most of, most of the possession, most of the chances, and they're going to come out early and try and get an early goal. Uh, if we get an early goal, then it could be a route, in my opinion. We all know what we're going to do. They're going to try and shut up shop, park the bus, and get it to nil-nil at half-time and try and pinch a goal in the counter-attack later on. But they might settle for that nil-nil, or if they get a goal and it's one-all, settle for one-all. If Arsenal haven't scored by 60 minutes, obviously a few changes will come, but Arsenal will... We'll have more gaps at the back, but again, I don't see us conceding. Um, very shocked if we do concede, unless we're three four nil up. But if it's tight, Arsenal, I, I, I can't see anything else than Arsenal getting a few goals, especially before half time. Um, I think regarding the scoreline, I think Arsenal I can't see anything more than Arsenal win. Um, I would not be surprised if this was 1-0, but I'm going to say Arsenal will win this one 3-0. Smith Rowe and a Bamiyang double. Watford, don't get into the game. We shut them out 2-0 at half-time. We get a third one in about 60th minute, and then that's it for the game. Arsenal win this one 3-0.